Wow. I'm looking good. You know what's looking better is this Nikon camera. Where's that crane? Wow, that's like a little too up close and personal in my face this morning. Um, I did have a little to drink last night. Did have a fun time, and I am feeling it this morning. Let me actually spin this chair around. I don't feel like sitting on the ground right now. And I don't want to face away from the windows and have bad lighting here. So you've missed a lot when it's come to the house, but at the exact same time, you did not miss a lot. And if you've been keeping up with the series, then you know I explained it in another video, okay? I just like had to be in crunch mode. I had to get stuff done because of something very exciting that's happening. I'm actually leaving today to do said thing. If you listen to the podcast, you already know. If you follow me on Instagram at this point, you probably already know. But very exciting. So let me give you a little update of the house, what work has been going on as well as um i do want to let you guys know that carpet's being installed today so like we're gonna get a little bit of a before and after of carpet being installed it's so weird that i'm like here and at this point i think because like the back bathroom isn't even demoed yet and like that was supposed to be demoed before the carpet installation but the carpet installation was supposed to be like four to six weeks out and then it ended up being two weeks out which is great and awesome because as soon as i get the carpet in like i can start moving things in the back bedrooms i just have to wallpaper put up ceiling fans and other lights and stuff but otherwise like i'm moving some of my clothes in almost immediately like now that the carpet's being installed today so let me actually let's talk about what has been done first up this room this wall look at it look at my office gorgeous location right there so my dad ended up framing these out here i don't know if you guys remember what they previously looked like but they match this wall right here so this arch is going to end up being cut out and it's just going to be squared off if i move my hand will actually focus on it and you can see so this is going to be squared off right here and then there's like a little lip up there you guys see that and that's where my shelf is gonna run the way across. So this is built out to match that size. I do have a new electrical box right there so that I have electrical in this and I'm not sure exactly like what I'm going to put on these, like I might have, you guys know my shelves that are currently in my puzzle room, like that might go on these. I also thought about like hanging mirrors or something. So I actually think that would be kind of cool to have like two mirrors. Um, one thing to note is this side is definitely larger than this side. It's just the way that the room is built. So they are not completely symmetrical, but in terms of width, they are symmetrical. So that was done. And then also over here to match because I needed another lip over here. And this was actually like already like, and, the, and like, it, you know, there was actually, there was electrical here that ended up being moved. So yeah, I have this post that is all framed out right here. And it's gonna be obviously like drywalled and it's gonna look pretty and absolutely purposeful. Right now it looks a little bit crazy. I did get a question on my Instagram stories about this whole situation and how this is a little bit of a hazard. So if you are concerned about this, do not worry about it, honestly. like. This is such a big hole. It is so noticeable. There is no, no one is falling in there. And on this side, do you guys see this? You see this thing that my dad built? This side is obviously raised compared to over there because this is a sunken in room right here. But for the railing, I wanted it because like this side would have had to be taller to match that side to like make it get to code and I just thought that would have looked silly and this purposefully separates that from this room and is going to make sense. So this is going to be like drywalled and really pretty. There's going to be a hardwood topper on top of this and then I am going to have a railing that goes the whole way around and then down the stairs as well, I believe, and it's going to look great. In terms of the step situation, okay, Catherine didn't fully think this through. This is my own fault. I fully didn't think this through, but it's going to be gorgeous and amazing. Anyways, remember how there was that one step there? I was like, oh, we're just going to move that one step and all I need is one step. False absolutely wrong because you need this as a step as well so i had to add one two and then level so this is going to be level right here just so you can walk from this room straight in here my dad still has to frame out the one step that is going to go in this general direction hold on wait we actually have to talk about these vents oh my gosh let me just say i'm like not too happy about this so the shutters i have discovered that 
why they were there was probably because of energy efficiency. Because when I tell you, when I got my electric bill back, I was like, oh, oh, I'm paying that much for electric here. Okay, yeah, no, let's put new energy efficient windows in. Let's get those things ordered. So I actually need to place the order on the other windows in the house. I still cannot find someone to do this. And I will find someone. It's just like, a matter of finding the right person, you know? So the rest of the windows in the house, though, all the double hung, those are gonna end up being replaced. It's just like the lead time out is so long on windows right now, it's crazy. So those will be replaced. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna pay a ridiculous amount for energy. One of the problems is the way that the ductwork was done. And I am now realizing that I am gonna need to have someone go in and fix or correct or do something with the ductwork because there's one vent over here, there's one vent right here, and then there's one vent, where is it, somewhere over there. Oh yeah, you see that, like, right there, that, that, right there. So there's three vents in this room. It seems great, that seems dandy, okay? Like, it's a big space, it needs a lot of vents, it seems, seems good. Um, in reality, no, no, it's not good, why? Because this is the only vent that actually pumps out air from the upstairs unit, because I got two different units, one for downstairs, one for upstairs. This is the only one that pumps out air from the upstairs unit. Why, Catherine, why? Well, the way that this was like built, it doesn't have enough to push air to both sides. It can only do one. So this blows out absolutely nothing over here. And then this one, my dad and I discovered, is operated by the downstairs unit, which stinks. And that's part of the problem that's contributing to like my terrible energy bill is like this one vent is working so freaking hard for my upstairs unit to try to cool this area. And like this is a huge area to cool. And then with the like sun beating in and the 100 degree days, yeah, it's been like a freaking mess. So I, I eventually like I'm gonna have that corrected because it's that's just like not gonna work to have the living room have only one operable vent and neat ways okay beyond that let's move into the kitchen and see what else my dad did we have a fun new hole right here we also have another fun new hole right here we had to bring the water the whole way out so this is going to be for my sink right here this is for like a drain situation, okay? Like things are still happening over here. I do have to call a plumber to run gas over here because I am gonna have a gas cooktop. So a plumber is absolutely going to do that for me. And really nothing else. Oh wait, no, false, 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 false. We, by we, I mean my dad, put this tiny little bit of framing here so that this wall matches this wall so that my bar area that's gonna go in here just like kind of works perfectly. It looks very purposeful. And now we move on to Catherine's side of the house. What the heck is Catherine up to? Okay, okay, since you guys asked, I will show you. Do you see this door frame? Look at that freaking door frame. That's a nice, nice door frame. Look at all of this white, <gasps> white door. It is so dark in there, but look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this trim. Wow, that's a nice trim. Look at this ceiling. Look at that. Do you guys see how smooth that is? It looks so good. These doors are done. One thing I do need to do, um, in the other bedroom, these closet doors have like a magnet thing up here to attach it. So like when it closes, it actually closes. This room for some reason didn't have it. So like the doors don't stay closed. So I just got to get like one of those magnet things for that. And that will be fine right there. I am not worried about the walls in here because this room is getting wallpapered. Also, I am going to be doing the trim for the windowsills. I just didn't have time to get to it. And that wasn't like an absolute must for me for carpet to be installed. So the bottom trim was like, like absolutely doors, absolutely, as well as ceiling, absolutely, because I didn't want any to drip on the floors. Trim in here, all done. Doors, oh my gosh, like do you guys see how pretty this is? Like this is gonna be unreal, same thing, ceiling situation, door, trim. I actually did this one because I randomly had time for it. Moving to the master. This room is not totally complete. I still need to go in and finish up in here, but it does look so much better. And it's at the point where carpet 
can be installed. And then the very last room is the um, closet right there. So I did the trim as well as the door for that. And that is what I was up to for far too long, honestly, because the trim was brown. And I know I had like some people being like, why didn't you buy a sprayer? Why didn't you buy a sprayer? I have seen other people on Instagram like talk so badly about sprayers and like not really like them, like the house people that I follow. And I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna spend the money. Like I would rather just stick to like the rollers and like the stuff that I have. And I ended up buying an 18 inch rollers for like the ceilings because man, like those things are big as well as like the master bedroom. It's big. So I bought like an 18 inch roller and that did fine. It was more so the trim and the doors. The doors realistically on each side took four coats of me rolling it because the detailing in them that I had to do four coats of like the detailing so I did eight coats on each side and it just like, it took me freaking forever. It took me so long, but it is done. Also, um, the tack strips for the carpet, I'm pretty sure they're called tack strips. Those have all been taken up. So that's good. Um, all the ceiling fans are gone. Did you guys notice that all the ceiling fans are gone? I took those down and I do have two other fans already here that I can put up. I was gonna put them up yesterday, but then I decided to get my nails done instead. I just had like worked so hard on this house that I was like, you deserve a break, go get your nails done. So that is where we are out with the house. Today, I did actually order Amazon. New lights for the laundry room as well as the closet. Both of those rooms didn't even have any lights when I bought the house, so I, Got to put those up. They're actually the exact same lights that I put in the upstairs of my house. I really liked the look of those. They were affordable and they looked cute. And I think they look better than like the boob lights. You know what I'm talking about. So I've got that right there. I also have more wallpaper. This is what I'm going to end up doing in the other bedroom. It's gonna look so cool. I was really debating the green room. That's the one that I'm talking about. I was really debating what I wanted to do in there. I was like, do I paint it? Because if I paint it, I should like really start at least right now before the carpet gets installed. But I didn't just want one of the bedrooms to be wallpapered. I felt like that would have really felt out of place. So this I think is gonna be so cool. It has like really, really great texture to it. And I think it's gonna be awesome. So I actually have to order more rolls of this because I just ordered one to see if I would even like it. But I have zero clue as to when these carpet people are getting here. I didn't even get a call, like a confirmation that it's happening today. I have no idea, but I figured like I should be here bright and early. So it's currently 7.35. I kind of figured like maybe they'd be here between like seven and eight or like maybe eight and nine. I'm not sure. Oh, it smells like fresh carpet. I have turned on the downstairs lights. I don't know why I did not Oh my gosh, it looks like a house. Wow. This is insane. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. This like really transformed this space. Like I feel like I can move things in. Bring up the king size bed from the basement. Wow, now I actually gotta get um, vent things too. This is sweet. Yeah, so let me explain the whole entire story. Do you say hi to the vlog? Life of a parent of two dogs. I did not agree to this. Stop, you cuteness. I can't handle you. Little hobby training session. Oh my gosh. How many things do you know? Far more than your sister, yeah, it's impressive. Come on, here, come on. Uh-uh, sit. 